Hello, welcome back to the final part of Horrible Harry and the Holidays by Susie Klein. This chapter is called Secret Santas. The last week of school in December, we did activities about Christmas. I didn't know lots of Lebanese people celebrated Christmas, but they do. Zuzu's mother brought in a bouche de Noël. It was a Christmas log cake. The chocolate icing was like the bark of a tree, and the powdered sugar was the snow. It was delicious. We also made wreaths out of pine cones, decorated a class tree, and made up our own lyrics to songs like Jingle Bells. Holidays, holidays, they're for you and me. Christmas, Kwanzaa, Three Kings Day, and Hanukkah too. But my favorite Christmas activity was the last one we did, Secret Santas. Miss Mackle brought out her glass jar that always sits on her desk. It had pieces of folded paper inside, and each paper had one class name written on it. I want you to pick a name from this jar so you can be the secret Santa for that person, she said. Instead of buying a gift, though, the teacher continued, I want you to choose a white elephant from your house, wrap it up, and give it to that person. Zuzu was the first to ask. Um, what's a white elephant, Miss Mackle? Anything used that is still good, the teacher explained, like a puzzle with all the pieces, or a toy that isn't broken, but that maybe you don't play with anymore. A book you've read that you are willing to part with. White elephants are things like that. Oh, I get it, Sid exclaimed. I think I'll give my family white elephants this year, too. I got lots of them in my room. Miss Mackle laughed. The price is right. I know what I can do, Harry blurted out. Miss Mackle made a face. It will be something horrible. I know. Harry crack cackled. Zuzu raised his eyebrows. Harry gets horrible gifts? Everybody nodded. Okay, boys and girls, let's begin, the teacher announced. Sydney went up and picked a name first. We all knew who was in it. He looked right at Mary. Darn, he said. I wanted Zuzu's name. I have something made in France at home. His Lebanese Christmas cake was French. Uh, he even knows some French like me. Zuzu blushed. I think he liked the attention, though. Remember what I said, Miss Mackle said, holding up one finger. It's a secret. At recess, Harry and I raced over to the dumpster and told each other who we had. I have Dexter, Harry said. I have Song Lee, I said. Well, you want to trade names? Harry whispered. I have a white elephant that only Song Lee will appreciate. Can we? I whispered back. Well, why not? Harry said. Nobody know needs to know. We'll keep it a secret. Harry and I did a pinky finger shake. And remember, I is Doug. So this is Harry and this is Doug. Our pinky promise meant we would not tell a soul, not even his grandpa. Okay, I said firmly, our secret Santas are sealed secret now. The day before vacation, everyone brought wrapped gifts to class. We were pretty excited to find out who our secret Santas were. Miss Mackle wore a red dress with a holly corsage from Zuzu and a headpiece that had reindeer antlers from Harry. She had red and green striped candy canes for everyone. While we licked our peppermint treats, we watched each other open our secret Santa gifts one by one. Zuzu, Miss Mackle said, drawing his name from the jar, here's your secret Santa present. He unwrapped the Christmas paper, carefully folded it, and even saved the ribbon. When he opened the card, it said, For Zuzu and Juju, I'm glad you're in our class. Happy holidays, Song Lee. Song Lee's face turned red. Zuzu unwrapped the gift. Oh, Juju will love these. Thank you, Song Lee. And here's the picture. That's his teacher, Miss Mackle, and that's Zuzu. Oh, I'm sorry, that's, yeah, that's Zuzu, that's right. We all stared at the white elephant gift. It was a stack of three colored pet bowls. Mary's turn was next. I know this is from Sydney, she groaned, but even as she but as soon as she unwrapped the white elephant, her face lit up. I love it! We all leaned forward to see what came out of the tissue paper. It was the doll Sidney had found in his Three Kings cake. I thought I should share the good luck, Sid said. 
like that Christmas song says, goodwill toward men. Zuzu smiled. That's a really nice gift, Sydney, he said. Mary jumped up and down. Thank you. Thank you. When I opened my Santa gift from Ida, I found a real koofy. The hat was made out of fabric, not poster paper. Wow. I put it on my head right away. Well, it belonged to my uncle, Ida said. He said I could give it to you. Well, thanks, Ida, I replied, adjusting my koofy. I felt kind of cool. Everyone had to wait until the last secret Santa present was open to find out what Harry gave Song Lee. I noticed Zuzu was leaning forward to watch her unwrap the gift. He was really curious what kind of horrible gifts Harry gave. When she lifted the surprise out of the box, she held up a jar filled with the green stuff. The hand-printed label said, Merry Christmas, Song Lee. I hope you like this holiday slide. I sure like you, Harry. As soon as she opened the lid, a terrible odor filled the room. Oh, it smells, Dexter said. It stinks, Sid said. It's holiday slime, Harry said. Then he flashed his white teeth. It's putrid. That's what Grandma says. I love that word. It's a horrible gift, Mary groaned. Ew, everyone groaned. As Song Lee poured a little into the palm of her hand, it landed like a solid puddle. And when she put some between her fingers and rubbed it, the slime turned to powder. Thank you, Harry, Song Lee said. I remember you made green slime in class last year with cornstarch and water. Yep, but this is a special batch I made last summer. Mom let me keep it in one of her leftover bell jars in the basement. All I had to do was add a little more water. No wonder it smells so bad, Mary gasped. It's been fermenting for five months. Zuzu cringed. Your holiday slime is horrible, Harry. Well, Miss Mackle chuckled, it is a festive grain for Christmas. Song Lee didn't moan or groan like everyone else. She just giggled. I like it, Harry. It's stinky fun. I knew you'd be the only one who would appreciate it, Harry said. I just smiled. Harry was back and as horrible as ever. The end. So now, after you have finished watching all the parts, you are eligible to take an AR test. And the AR test number is 74425. So if you participate in AR, you can type in this number and you will find Horrible Harry and the Holidays Quiz. Or if you don't want to type in the number, you can always search the book. Bye.